and welcome back to Recover the Supplies. My name is Brendan Franz. I'm gathered today with three wonderful characters. I've got Krabic there, Tim B. I've got Ryan from Stabcast, and I've got Jay Shalansky from Fifth Trooper here. And we are back for episode three of Recover the Supplies, a Star Wars RPG from Fantasy Flight Games. We're on episode three. And as you can tell, <laughs> we're having a great time already, and we haven't even begun this party. That's, so. that's right. You can't, any, you can't see my laughter, but... Uh, for anybody who is just tuning in and you didn't catch those first two episodes, be sure to check those out. But if you're going to go ahead and watch this one and stick with us today, go ahead and enjoy the fact that uh, we have three party members here. We have Nisk, Garo, and Zoltan. They've been sent on this quest to go check out uh, this ship that they have found in pieces out in the wilderness south of Most Durian on the planet of Fantuin, a subsidiary planet not very uh, known in the Tatooine system. And they are uh, beset by some thugs here who have already gotten to the wreck site first. Uh, initiating a bit of hostilities, the party unfortunately has been quick drawn on and after a hail of blaster fire from the thugs that are in front of them, uh, Nisk Sundes, the pilot of the group, our Bothan friend and former rebel, is now on the ground. Uh, however, uh, with a bit of bravery rushing to his side, we have Zoltan, who has given him a little bit of healing uh, and managed to stabilize our friend here. And we're going to go ahead and hop right back into the combat. So, gentlemen, you have two party actions uh that yes. you can use before the the thugs here get to attack again so um, i think we need some dramatic music to kind of kick in it's like the whole pre-show we were fine yeah the we battle of endor but it's dogs yeah, like barking it <laughs> this is this is why no one listens to critical x brendan <laughs> i'm leaving it's, this yeah. all in i'm leaving this in the cut it's got to it's got to stay yeah I, this this we're off to a really good start again <laughs> it's, yeah it's i good. nailed it up to that point i was we you, were yeah, you were doing we were great. great oh my gosh all right, gentlemen, cheers. Here's my wine. Yes, I have a picture of my dog on my mug. I hate your dogs. <laughs> and I hate you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a, that's going to be a dark side roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, speaking uh, of dark side, do we need to roll destiny even though we're in the middle of combat? We do, gentlemen. So we have a new yeah. session. So we're going to go ahead and roll destiny right off the bat before you guys get your actions going. I'm going to roll destiny's child. Ooh. The whole the, the trend holds. Lots of dark side points for Nisk. What am I doing? All right. How do I do that? Just, you're going to go to your sheet I, and you're going to roll Destiny? Oh, I got double white. <laughs> the speeder truck rolled some Destiny, so that's nice. That's great. <laughs> there you go. The speeder truck is great. <laughs> the force brought this truck to us. So, Garo, I'm going to go ahead and let you get that light side point because I'm feeling generous. Yeah. And I'll then I won't that. give you those two. I don't know. Uh, what you did. Uh, I got all these things on here. I don't... <sighs> well, I have pop outs now on this session, so I can even run more things than I was before. So I'm just saying. Oh, For anybody who didn't know, I ran the whole session on one monitor last time. <laughs> yeah. Discovered. When we, these when guys we let me know. Out. Yeah. These guys let me know that you can actually pop out. And now I can put other character sheets across my multiple monitors here. Yeah. So it's even that better was, than that it was, was pretty before. good. <laughs> and I've been using Roll20, by the way, since it launched, which was like six seven years ago so i don't even know all right brendan um, i'm ready yes, to sir. go i'm ready to play are you ready to yes. play i'm ready to play this so... is what i want to do i'm in the yes. truck in the driver's seat i should actually uh -huh. be on top oh by the way we have a brand new truck everyone yeah uh, so i'm gonna be in the truck here i'm in the driver's seat because i moved over to shoot right last episode yep so what i'd like to do is i'd like to gun the truck and just ram all these guys that sounds oh. good. It sounds really difficult, though. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that check just because there's friendlies nearby. I'm going to run you over, Ryan. I'm going to get totally run over. I'm going to run you no, over. Oh, everything's fine, guys. He's going to roll with despair. So I have a... No, I'm not... I, go ahead. Go ahead. I've got uh, I've got it ready for you. Okay. Uh, can I spend one of our light side points to, to make it better? Yeah, go for it. All right. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
We do also need to do obligations, so I need to pause you for just a moment there. I'm going to go ahead and roll a D100 and see if any of you guys are having a worse day. By the way, uh, do you guys remember which of you guys had uh, food poisoning from some, uh, I some still, bad things? Yeah, I still on? have two strain. Yeah. Uh, it should be, should be setback dice. It should be black dice. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to roll one D100. Okay. I am soul 10. <laughs> oh, my. Five. That is unfortunate for you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, who's, who, who's first in our player order? Yeah. So I went already and I picked you up. So I've already gone. Well, not, not necessarily this order, but in the order on uh, Brendan's obligation sheet. Who yes. On so, um, uh, so Garo here. Um, uh -oh. you unfortunately are recalling um, as you see your Bothan friend gunned down, yep. you're gravely reminded of the death of your brother and family yep. um, and it kind of shakes you to the core so for the rest of this session your strain threshold is actually going to be reduced by two and because uh, you're affected by those around you, the rest of the party is actually going to reduce their strain threshold by one as well okay, oh yep Okay. All so, right. Um, and I don't need you to necessarily mark that permanently on your sheet. I just need you to keep track of it. And correct me if I'm wrong, but strain that you would take in excess of your threshold then mm -hmm. becomes converted into damage. No, it just means you become incapacitated. Yep. Like it you, can't you, take, you can't take part of the scene. Yep. Really? You just, yeah, mm -hmm. you're just, you're so exhausted. So you can be perfectly you, healthy. You have no wounds at all. And you're just like, I'm so stressed with all the kids in homeschool yeah, I mean, and lockdown and it's, coronavirus. And I it's just, a breakdown. Yeah, yeah you could just be so emotionally distressed that yeah. in a social encounter, so, you just can't yeah. be helpful anymore. Um, and, and it's up to you, really, to tell us how your mm -hmm. character reacts to that because you're the one that's overwhelmed. All so right. from a storytelling perspective, that's what'll happen. So so I'd like to say, so first off, Brendan, my, my goal would have been to drive the truck to, how do I ping on the on the screen? Just here? click and hold. Yeah. So like right, like right like here was where I wanted to aim. So sure. my original plan before <clears throat> that happened was that I was gonna jump out the last minute before the truck like you know rammed truck. into the back of this ship here yeah. so what i'd like to do is instead i'm just gonna buckle up and just yeah. just drive right into them own it so, so trying to hit these three here sure okay oh, man. I really uh, yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add just another setback to that roll. so how many of the black dice would you like me to add um you should have uh you should have one okay and then ahead, if I want to change if, that, if I, I did, um, and if okay. I want to use uh, a use a light side, yep, right, go I ahead just... and hit the use light side. Okay, perfect. So that just triggered, and then go ahead and give yourself one upgrade for this roll. Uh, there's just... an upgrade uh, on the left side, yep. so just upgrade just one for yep, the upgrade, just make that one and okay. then remove it after you roll. All right, all right, All right. you can do it. Go. Push that button, you Come push on. it. Don't run me over. Oh. 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 Well, Ouch. It, it could be worse. Yes. That's actually worse. not horrible. Um, it, I think it sounds like he just doesn't hit anybody. He was trying to run them over and he failed. Yeah. They, they're going to be able to get out of the way. And um, not only that, but the sudden movement actually is going to give them a bonus on their next attacks against you guys. Um, so they're going to be in a better position. So where to, am I? Where am I then? Like here with the truck? Yep. Can we? Yeah. Oh, the yep. truck moves. Yep. <laughs> There's wheels on that there thing. Okay. Did yep. I? But I didn't crash. You didn't crash. Right. You didn't hit anybody. Uh, but they got the heck out of the way. That truck has, you know, a straight engine muffler and pipes and all that, so it is loud as heck, and uh, they they get out of the way. Did you? Um, so, so like most vehicles then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was watching a cool restoration show. Like he was like that. saying they got a muffler and this yeah. other, yeah, like all vehicles, yeah. man. Yep, yep. This their truck. It's got a chair. Right. You can tell I'm a car guy. Well, I tried, so. guys. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, it was a valiant effort. <laughs> if uh, uh, not friggin' car. Zoltan didn't give us goddamn poisoned meat, we'd be fine. Um, also, like used the four you like. You just witnessed a miracle, <laughs> by the way. You just <laughs> I, I, I care less. I straight up pulled a ray 
and 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 bring yeah. Palpatine. Guess and what? Pick this dude's up like healing his broken wounds. I like didn't they... see it. I was too busy throwing up from food poisoning in the truck. <laughs> so <laughs> wherever you're sitting in the truck after yep. this little nonsense, that's where I threw up. Just well, that's that's where you do some doctor work, but you somebody <laughs> refused medical attention. You know, that wasn't cause... from the poison food. That was from the that. scratch. You know I'm still dying. on the ground dying. Just all right, we're all, all, right, all, right. all right, all right. We can move on. Sorry, guys. I'm all hot today. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So, uh, Tim or Ryan, screen. who's going to use that next PC slot? I've gone, gone already. Turn. I think. I, I don't know if it was the same turn or if it was last turn. No, we uh, can we can reorder ourselves. Oh, this is, this is yeah. the new turn, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're on a new turn. Okay. Um. Well, uh, I think it looks like I'm in, in melee range of uh, yep. of these. No, are these guys? Um, uh, the, the, are they uh, like Punda Baba's race? Uh, yeah, it's just an assorted group of thugs. Okay, so is, uh, was there is, by chance is there any Wookies in this group? There's not a Wookie in this group. Okay. Well, that's good because <laughs> God, that would that would be dangerous. All right, so uh, you know, look, I've got sword in hand. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, one hand was healing, the other hand has got my my sword, and I think I am going to aim and slice. Give him the Doctor Evazan Do special. We call him the Do we it. call it the slice and dice. All right, so aim is gonna give me a a, a bonus die. It is. And uh, let's see, I got it, and 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 because I haven't done this in a little bit, I I'm gonna mm -hmm. go to uh, I got my character sheet. I gotta find my weapon. Yeah, oh, you got this, uh, buddy. I can do it. I can we do, can it. do I, this. It's We're professionals, time. kind of. You can you can afford to give me a minute here. All right, I, so no, no. Yeah. Time character is money. Sheet. Jay charges by the minute. Yeah. And destiny. Time, time is viewers, man. I don't know how you do it on the Kravik channel, but that's not how we do it on the Fifth Trooper Network. I get. I just do it all. I do it live. I do it in one take, and if, and, and I've got blooper reels saved up. <laughs> We're doing like it live. We're doing it live. Combat. There it goes. There's the weapon. I don't think we can do the rest of that meme on this show. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. So I'm adding one blue. Um, I don't want a force die in there. Okay. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Well, I would love a force die in there. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can make this roll. Boom! Oh, <laughs> wait, this is not a bad <laughs> force die in there. Oh, but we got a. Uh... Well, all right. Yep. Uh, so we'll ignore the uh, we'll ignore the force die there. Yeah, I took it out. Maybe it didn't apply. Oh, because um, my cursor is still in the box, so it didn't apply it. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, you have to so click click out. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks it's it's I don't know how it is on y'all's end, but some of the symbols come in slower and faster than some of the others. Yep. It's you know, confusing. I'm not I actually had a bunch of lag before the show started. And uh, it was yeah. like four of my rolls came in at once and I was like, whoa, I hope that doesn't happen while Everyone's I'm home on roll twenty, right? I believe that's, that, yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I got um, a triumph, and the triumph yep. was the last one that load for me. So I thought it was just a success, yep. and then I saw, oh, triumph. Now mm -hmm. when I'm attacking a group, I'm unclear as to if you can crit a group. Because I think a, a triumph can just kill one minion or one yeah, regular. So that's, that's what a crit does, yeah. That's exactly what it's going to do against these guys. It's going to drop another guy. So it's going to drop um, one, and then I've got two, uh, the two successes that could, I guess, what roll over to the next guy, basically? Right. So what's your damage total? Um, well, that's a really good question. Um, Seven. And, you have five base. Yeah. I, oh, there it is. Yeah, damage of five. Uh, and I'm not going to – yeah. And, and so, yeah, so it looks like a total of seven damage here. Okay. Um, so, uh, this is going to give you two. So go ahead and tell me how this looks like. Uh, so basically this is a sideways slash. And mm -hmm. what I do here is if, if, I'm, if I'm taking out two, I actually cut two throats, the two that are directly in front of me. And I have, yeah. uh, you know, and, and I'm so overconfident that I may, perhaps I stumble, uh, one kind of like looking back to smile, uh, at, <laughs> at the other guys. I'm like, <laughs> look what I just did. And, you know, cause there's some threat in there too. So while it sure. was super cool um you know i'm guessing that uh, that's going to leave me vulnerable to uh maybe an upgrade for the next attack that comes to me or, or i mean that's up to you gm but that would be my suggestion uh that i got a little overconfident in my blade dancing sure I yeah uh they're gonna be they're gonna be feeling real good when they get to swing so yeah. they are quite mad um that you've taken out some of their friends uh and the two remaining guys are going to train their blasters on you um oh. whoa Yep. So what? they're gonna actually take <laughs> they're gonna take some steps back because you know that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Um and, and get some distance because uh you know that's the advantage of bringing a sword to a gunfight. Um <laughs> so they're gonna step back. Um so I saw this, this movie called Indiana Jones, uh and there was a sword fighter there that did all this fancy stuff. Yeah. And then boom. Yeah. Um so we've got that. 
they've got a couple of bonuses there. And I'm just making sure I've got all my things ready for them. Um, so they've got that. They've moved. And let's go ahead and roll that. Oh, no. I got I got three damage coming at me. Boom! You got more than three damage. You got nine damage coming at you. Yeah, what's your soak, sir? Well, um goodness. Uh let's let's see. That's gonna be on character sheet. Yeah. It should should be at the very top of all of your tabs. Right under your dice pool. Well, wait, isn't it there? I don't just no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Do you I not think have it expanded? It's under it's stats. A, yeah, it's dice destiny pool. I, it, it shows dice stuff. and it says destiny pool and an initiative and then weapons. Oh, uh, there's a there's a oh, drop down info. in between. Let me character info. No, there's a drop down in between initiative and destiny pool. Yep, yep. that says stats. Oh, drop that down. It. It's got all your wounds and all Dang your defense. Come on, Kravik. Every Let's time. Do this. That's three. When Jake's out, hey, when Jake's Ryan, out Ryan, no, the, Ryan, the, the first thing is dice pool. The next <laughs> thing is destiny pool. There's no one. There's no. I don't have a drop down in between those. Oh, maybe I'm bugged. No, between destiny pool and initiative. I mean, yeah. I don't have initiative. Are you on your? I'm oh, on, you're on your on character sheet. Yeah. Yep. Right above right. Char- Right above the red tabs. Yeah, I see the oh, red tab. Oh, the above the stats. Yep, above them. Bio and info, then character sheet, and then attributes and abilities. Right. So I'm under character sheet. I've got character sheet of highlighted of the red tabs. Okay. Now yes. Yeah. No. Go then down. your dice pool yeah. is just below that. Right. Yeah. Then, then your destiny pool. Th- and then, then there's a little drop down button. There should be a little button that says stats on the left hand side. No. Sync pool with GM, roll destiny, stats. Oh, stats. Yeah, the, that one. What do you <laughs> think we've been saying for 20 minutes? So what is four. going on? I think I said stats so five four. times. All right. Yeah, Take but it was damage. it was smaller than it was. I mean, the text was it was much. <laughs> what? I don't I don't have point. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Ryan, not I think that's another <laughs> shot. Krabic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I know. I know what you're doing. I just figured it. I figured you out. You came over to my channel to just <laughs> ruin me. To take Boat anchor. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> look, look. All I know is on double critical podcast, we don't have these types of problems. Yeah. Are you on that one? I'd say, yeah, I'd say something. It's not. It's not doing that great. Jay wouldn't know. He doesn't watch it. He doesn't listen. To it. Yeah, I could care less. I know. <laughs> about you. Next, next, next episode, all about you. Yeah, I, yep. I would never yeah. know. So go for you it. You never know. <laughs> this just right. been acquired by Fifth Trooper. It'll now be called. <laughs> yeah, 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 next episode. Uh, so these guys, I mean, they are. He bought me a cheeseburger and LVO, and here I am. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's all how right. it works. Uh, these guys are turning to run, and they are. Um, oh, by the way, how much damage did I take? I took six. Five. Uh, you took five. five damage. Minus my soak, or that's after. Oh, okay. So I took a total. Of five. Yep. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And at this point, the the um, droid that was actually kind of tucked in there um, was busy emerges, and it's actually going to be joining the combat here. Um, so, what do you mean it was busy moving out of the way of the truck? Because I tried yep. to hit it last time. <laughs> Let's see if that initiative even rolls. I clicked it. There it goes. There it yeah, there was a definite delay there. Yeah. Um, That's so we'll just be dealing role. with that. Holy cow! Yeah, we'll just be dealing with that today. So he'll join in on the new uh, on the new turn, dude. What? You're gonna need to shock him with your electricity. Yep. Can you um, do that? I think before we end the round, don't the I get to go? Don't yeah, I? yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah, the th- sweet. Yeah. All right. So it's go not ahead an ex- and do that. It's and not we'll an exciting assume... turn, but uh... yep. I'm going to spend one maneuver to pull out my blaster rifle. I'm going to spend another maneuver uh, by taking two strain to uh, stim myself up with one of my stim packs. And then I'm going to fire a shot into the fleeing thugs. Now, Ryan, how much health does that give you? Uh, Since it's my first stim of the day, it should be five. Uh, And then each stim pack I use throughout the course of the day is one less until there's so many antibiotics and stimulants in my system that I explode. So, perfect. Now I'm feeling. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. <laughs> um, you got my dice pool set up. I'm gonna try to hit this macro, and we're gonna see if it oh, works. Oh, hang on. What are you hitting? Uh, my weapon macro that I've got in my combat tab. 
Okay, and you're going to be shooting at, uh, it looks like medium range, so that's going to be two damage, or two difficulty. You got it. Um, and I've got everything in the dice pool. Bonk. Let's see what happens. Fail with advantage. Awesome. Um, if I can use my advantage to, like, send a hail of bullets, like, I'm on the ground, I'm not a great shot from here, sure. um, kind of over them, uh, either adding some strain or reinforcing their idea to it, to keep running. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so we've got that. And then uh, let's see. Uh, next up is the security droid. Um, so he is, uh, he basically levels an arm cannon at you, Mega Man style. Um, at who? Uh, it's going to be his nearest target. Um, Jay, clearly Jay. Jay looks close, but uh, it is actually Jay, so he's going to try and unload on the vehicle. Do I get um, any sort of, like, cover for being in a truck? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're probably going to be fine. It's probably going to go into the truck. Um, We're probably we'll, going to be walking home. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what Hopefully happens here. Hopefully not. Hopefully fly home in this. Jay, uh, if you don't, <laughs> if the truck still runs after this, you should try to run that droid over because he looks like he's serious. Business. And, Ryan, the size difference is a bonus die, right, when you're shooting something bigger than you? Yes. I think so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and they unload on the truck. Mm. Oh, and they wow. miss. That's wow. what we like to see. Um, the truck is armored. Miss. So Garrow is just like flipping off the droid out the window and then <laughs> throwing up <laughs> to the side. <laughs> Don't eat next to meat, boys and girls. Don't eat next to meat. That next to meat was. He's like, ah, oh, you taste. stupid clanker. <laughs> yeah. So the droid just unloads everything he's got, and it becomes flat out unsafe to attack this droid. You are you are too busy taking cover, um, hiding, you know, under you know the the dashboard of the truck or anything like that. If you okay. if you even try to attack this droid, it's going to be bad. So basically what he's done is he's increased his defense for the turn because it's just unsafe to attack him. Okay. So, so that means he gets a, you get he gets an upgrade when you uh, attack him, right? Uh he you get a setback die if you attack him. Okay. So what I'd like to do then, uh let's say part for the story, so I you know we got a PC one next, right? So yep. let's say I cut the wheel and um, I almost pointed to my screen, which would not have helped you guys at all. Uh, <laughs> I put like maybe I cut the wheel and I just kind of head for these guys with the truck and try mm -hmm. to and try to ram them. Yeah, try to. Okay, so I got that in there. I got the black die, and I will just do a roll. I'm not going to use. Uh, I'm not going to use another force die because I don't want to waste it. But maybe somebody else could use it. Define waste. <laughs> Uh yeah, so I got That's a lot of blank dice. Yeah, that that's a very very blank roll. Very bad. Wow. Very bad, my friend. Um, so what would you like to do that with that advantage there, Jay? Mm. Is there uh, any way I could do... maybe maybe uh yeah here I got it. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna move myself. Let's say I like make it there with the truck, uh -huh. and what I'd like to do is. Uh, maybe I kind of slid the truck a little, like tilted it a little bit because it's a hover truck, and it kicked up some sand and kind of obscured uh, my two compatriots there, so that it's harder to shoot them with like sand in the air. Yeah, that, sounds great. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. You know, so they got like a setback next time they attack. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, we had to get out of the way. <laughs> yep. okay. Yeah, we don't want to get run over. Seems right. good. I'm in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, next PC action. Um, let's see. Love Go for you it, too. How much? For, how much can we move? Uh, uh, you can basically move one for one movement. Um, one, only one square. For, yeah, one maneuver is one square. A second maneuver is a second square. Okay, that's uh, well. I guess we got to do what we got to do. All right, I'm going to take two strain because I'm going to have to do two maneuvers to get into melee range now since I kind of got pushed out by Jay's driving, which has been yep. absolutely pitiful by this You point. mean saving your life and kicking <laughs> up dust so they can't get right shooting you? Yeah, them. my bad. 
Yeah, I would I would say you need to do two maneuvers just to get around the truck because the truck is in the way. You're you're literally following yeah. behind a truck. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I, you're I welcome. What can I say? They can't shoot you now. Oh, but I I need to be there. You don't you don't. Unlike you, I don't have a blaster. I have a Corellian cutlass, which is made for cutting things. So with that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take two strain. I'm gonna do two maneuvers. I'm gonna go right up here. Um, and we're gonna do some fancy slashing. I can't aim this time, sure. but I'm gonna spend a I want to spend a light side point to upgrade this attack. Okay. Use light side. Boom. Yep. And then let's see. We're gonna do. Um, I've got to go to combat. I gotta find this weapon. And let's see if this works. Come on, Zoltan. Oh! 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 Holy cow! Oh! <laughs> Drink. I don't. Yeah, you can go ahead and narrate that however the heck you want. Oh, oh man, um, can you well, skewer them like with the blade? Just like make them a kebab. Right. Here's what I think. Um, I've obviously got even with only one triumph, I got enough to finish up the whole group. Yep. I'd like to use the other triumph uh, mm -hmm. to say that basically I skewered them both on the blade. And threw the remains uh, onto this droid uh, to basically um, to to, uh, to to downgrade its next attack, or basically uh, to to basically give a, an upgrade to us. So what would that be? A downgrade on its next attack? You know what I'm saying? So he gets an, sure. a, a red die when he's yep. attacking. Yeah. Yeah, you can upgrade his next attack, or you can upgrade uh, the next attack against him. No. Um... Oh yeah, no, that's good. Let's upgrade the next attack against him. So yeah, okay. so he's he's, not, he's gonna have a harder time dodging because he's got body parts that were flung, Just flown at him. Yeah. Yep, his optical receptors. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And you guys, well, and also the other guys were really impressed with this move. It, so and that's what you think anyway. Uh, the reality <laughs> is is that uh, ultimately those are his masters and his controllers. So um, he's literally having an error in code that's like wait a minute, wait a minute, what do I have to do here? Like, how do I get out of this? Um, I, I got a, a, a sidebar thing here. Um, yeah. That didn't actually upgrade my attack. Um, it, gave uh... me a, it gave me a blue die, but it didn't, because um, I okay. already have two yellow in melee, so I should have turned that green <laughs> to yellow. So, um, hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't know how. Uh, did, did you... you did... You did not probably click upgrade one when you. No, I just hit use light side. I thought it did. Yeah. Okay. No. Nope. You've got to tell it how to use it. Yeah. Yep. That makes that makes more sense. Okay, so can we yeah. put that light side point back then? Since. Yeah, that's know. fine. Yeah. yeah, I'll just flip it. I don't want to re-roll because. <laughs> no, that was a great roll. We'll keep it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Zach. So, yep. All no right. worries. Right. Uh, so yeah, no problem flipping that back. The droid is up next. Um, and he is going to unload again on the truck because he's got no other smart decisions to make at this point. Um, so he's going to go ahead and shoot at the truck. I've got a bonus there and that. You don't hurt Bessie now. You don't hurt Bessie. Mm -hmm. We need Bessie. So those go away and making sure I've got everything here. Boom. Yeah. Ouch. Yep. Uh, so here's the fun thing. That is a vehicle, so functionally, um, I'm going to go the 10 to 1 rule. So one point of armor counts as, one, as 10 points of soak. Um, however, your truck has no armor. Um, but I'm going to say health-wise that the same applies, so I'm going to deal one yeah. damage to the truck. Um, okay, I added it on there. So under hull trauma? Yep, hull trauma yep. 1. Yep. Added as it. he is just riddling it with blaster fire. Bah, 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 well. bah, bah, we do have 10 on that truck, so that's How does good. Yeah, bah, 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 <laughs> but if you never heard a droid uh, blaster, yeah. geez. Yeah, I, that's I exactly heard, what it sounds like. I yeah. haven't heard Brendan do that if he wasn't doing his uh, his tiger accent. Mm, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I got more wine. Oh, God. <laughs> Jay yeah, like, Jay is Jay's making notes and like, I, I, you know, I regret it at players. the moment it happened. I, yeah. <laughs> yep. For anybody that's interested in that, go check out the uh, live stream recording that we did uh, just uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, the Fifth Trooper podcast. It was, it was great. 
All right. Until I got on. What, what do you mean? What do you mean, Brendan? It was several weeks ago. Several was, weeks ago. It was whatever that was. In Brendan, that was. In Brendan time. In, in yeah. Brendan time. It was units. three days from now. Yeah. Thirty-seven Brendan units. Right. We're gonna start measuring in my units of time. Okay, when are we gonna no start this to uh, tonight's it. RPG? By the way. Yeah, we'll start that real quick. I hope you're ready. How you guys doing? My name's Tim. <laughs> Hold on, time out. So that droid went twice. It's a new round, and he can flip flop. No, no, yeah. just as just as we can use no, it is our PC it's, slots it's, in any order. Hold on, hold on. Oh it's the no, same he's round. right. No, he's right. You guys killed all the. That should have been the. Um, that should have been the thugs. Yeah, Ryan, you should have gone before oh, gotcha. the droid. Yep. Brendan okay. got screwed up. What a rookie move. It's GM privilege, right? He's just like yeah, oh, this that's GM fine. privilege. All right, go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, yeah who cares? Yeah. Um, okay. All right, I'm mad at the droid. He shot my truck. Yeah. Um, can I uh or is gonna shoot your truck, whatever. <laughs> yeah. How fast is vision through the force? How yeah. fast is the speeder truck moving? Let's uh, ask the real questions here. I mean, he's got it probably one. like speed one right now. Yeah, yeah, it's one. Is there a way that I can jump into the back of it to get some like a little bit of cover out of it? And as he kind of drives by it, shoot the droid. Sure. Oh yeah. Do that. Uh Don't. that's gonna be an acrobat's roll for your maneuver. You got it. Or yeah, acrobatics. I think it is. Uh, you how got about it. coordination? Yeah, that one. You got a difficulty set? Uh, yes. And do you have the appropriate setback on your sheet? What am I setback? Uh yes, I I can add one. Maybe. Sure. What's the? Is it S for setback? No, S is success. Uh, you can just you can just add them on the top of your pool. Okay. At the top of your at the top of your screen. Well, that. If I use the macro at the bottom, I'll calculate that. Let's it find should, out. yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm in the back of the truck. Barely, Solid. but we're in the back of the truck. That counts. Um, and then, uh, yeah, add any uh, any difficulties I need for the droids upgrades. And then tell me when you want me to Ryan, shoot them in the face. Ryan, you get, a, you get an advantage because uh, of what Kravik did, right? You get it, oh, Yeah, it's actually shoot. a full on upgrade. You'll you just get some better time. Yeah, All right, better. I have got the upgrade logged and my setback logged. Okay, you've got that and that. I've got difficulty of one because he is by himself at short range. And I'm going to go ahead and move you and flip you over so you are no longer... I'm no longer upside down. Excellent. Yep, and I'm going to take your snail away. Not my snail. Oh, yep. crap. Wow. Wow. All right, then. Well, that's not... Wait, how many... Oh, did you get a double critical? Ba ba ba. <laughs> All right, I see. I one love that I actually a double critical. Well, I, it actually added one too many dice because it added a yellow die instead of an upgrade because I'm a moron. So let me reroll that real quick. Uh, as much as no. I want to keep that. Let's do things the right way, boys and girls. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> tons of advantage. Tons of advantage. Wow. Um, so a hail of uh, a hail of blaster bolt and a bunch of sand continues to just like. This thing is almost invisible in in forms of debris, and it cannot see its way out. But I can't seem to hit anything because well, I'm I'm doing this while jumping on a moving vehicle. Mm -hmm. Well, and maybe some of that sand that the truck kicked up before when I was trying, yeah, yeah that just got involved. Yeah, and... I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys plus two defense uh, from this thing's attacks, just flat Sweet. out. Like, yeah, it's just boom. It's having a real bad day. Okay. Sounds cool. Um, so yeah, it erupts with blaster fire, and it's back to you guys. Um, did I see Nisk do this? Uh, not really. It's probably the back of a cab. So okay. Yeah, you're, you're too busy throwing still... up in the floorboards. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Then. I mean, you hear a bunch of blaster fire behind you. Yeah, yeah. but that wouldn't mean anything, right? Mm -mm. Um. Okay. So let's. Well, I, I saw. Does anybody else have a plan for what they want to do, or I can keep shooting while y'all think about it? Yeah, just go I ahead. Mean, keep, shooting, keep shooting. shooting. Yeah, because I right, didn't know yeah. what to do. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep unloading. I don't have my upgrade anymore. I still have my setback. Oh, you can take um, all the PC slots. So we. This is the top of a new round, I do believe. Yeah, it yes, is. It is. Oh, so because so it's I took a new the, round, the last him, one round and the first yeah, of the next. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can totally last first. Yeah. No, that makes sense. There's, oh, there's this that. way, if you die, I can go. I can jump on the truck and heal you. Uh, so you one, just... ten damage and seven advantage. Yeah. Um, go ahead and I... narrate that. Yeah, I'm assuming it's dead. Yep. Um, Drink first, though. Yeah. Get so yeah, absolutely. Take as as the truck kind of spins by and I'm I'm shooting it, I kind of stop, pull a, a 
fidget with a knob or something on the end of my my barrel and then rego again and just three shots come out and you see sparks fly three different times out of the sand cloud mm. um and then we as you, we hear the droid fall down but out of the, the cloud of sand all we see is like a hand and three fingers come come out as it as it hits the deck um done that's that's beautiful. To you, uh, Nisk, do you and I had only yeah. just learned to love. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you tell me? Yeah, I kind of pound on the the barrier between the cab and the back, and I'm yeah. like, "Good driving, kid. That was that was slick." Okay, and so now then stop I'll... this truck before yeah. you crash. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop the truck then. Woo! Okay. okay, that was the intense. I thought Nisk was dead are... for sure. I thought you Nisk was dead too. <laughs> I'm gonna try and uh, heal myself with the force real quick while they're like, you know, while he's Zoltan, shooting. Zoltan, are you all right, friend? Sure, go ahead. All right. Uh, let um, me clear some dice from your pool. Yeah, it's just go we're just gonna look at the force die. Wow, look at that. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow. So, so much, so much negativity in your life. So that's uh, <laughs> what is that? Four? I think it's. Yeah, I think that's it's. You can heal six if you spend both. Uh, I'm gonna spend both. I'm gonna get uh, tap into the anger a little bit to heal myself. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Up into the uh, the Palpatine essence. Like I, I've heard yep. stories that years from now, <laughs> Palpatine will have a granddaughter. Are you are you a Zabrak with a beard as you stroke it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, but I'm imagining it. You know, I've heard uh, about these confusing <laughs> stories of the yeah. future. Uh, okay, so I have one strain and two wounds. Can I can I roll medicine to heal myself, Brendan? Like I'm yeah. just like relaxed in the truck i just want to kind of get this yeah uh so treating and medical rules um they have variable difficulties based on what your current damage is okay um so uh, out of cow, door... i just opened my book randomly to it look at that it's a christmas noise miracle. what wow. page is it uh it is 226 in the force and destiny core rule book so, christmas uh, miracle uh okay so uh how much uh how many wounds do you have and two. what is your threshold you have 14 and 14 so that is just an easy check so all you need to do is roll versus diff one okay. let me go ahead and get that ready go ahead yep so uh because you got that um success recover one additional wound um, so yeah, you managed to recover a wound. And then I get yep. an additional strain? Uh, of the you can. Well, so we can do either way, because ultimately I could spend it either way. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that it just takes you a little bit longer than you okay. anticipated. And then so, I yeah. have one strain. How? So what do I do to reduce strain? Is that uh, like... So strain, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't it a cool check once you're done or disciplined or something? Um, it's like once you're out of combat discipline this rule is in such a weird spot i can never remember where it is but yes a- after an encounter we can roll yeah i want to say it's vigilance or maybe no it's discipline um and reduce strain okay um yeah we'll go ahead and go with that uh can't do it in combat i'm though, right, right. right. Like the end of an encounter. yeah, yeah. after yeah. the encounter yeah all right, I'll yep. I'll roll that. Tell me when you're ready, Brendan. You guys can all roll it. Yeah, and we'll, right. we'll add lib it for now. Whoa, why we'll do I have later. a black? Oh, I have a black, my own black. What's the purple yeah. one? You should... Oh, it's a. I, that's the I difficulty. A... Right. Uh, Jay, it looks like you rolled exactly nothing. Oh, discipline. So three because everything three, there on your on your roll canceled out. All right, so I still have that one strain. All right, that's cool. Yep, that makes sense. Wait, I shouldn't have had the force in there, so I get rid of one strain. Oh, I yeah, had, I fine. still, I put it up there. That's so. That's one of the cool things when you become a Jedi, you get to add a force die to everything, and they can count as whatever you want. Well, mm-hmm. if you specialize in it, so they yep. can count as you know successes or. Uh, yeah, you can start using those on other checks. Mm, uh, which is cool. I mean, it's ultimately they're not any more powerful. It's just you have different ways of solving the same problem. Right. Yeah, this is not uh, a game about min maxing, but it's a game about like no. spreading yourself out so you just don't completely mm, colossally right. fail and run over which your gonna, Which we're going to do anyway. But yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Not uh, today, my little Bothan friend. Not today. Hey, we're race. recognizing what race we are. Good. We'll yeah, I, 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 I'm starting to remember. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Bothan? I haven't seen a Bothan. 
Man, it's that was while. it's we been years that. since I've seen a boffin. <laughs> And, and I was so confused when Ryan's like, oh, I'm right here. I'm like, why yeah. are you telling me this? It's <laughs> awkward. Why are you making things awkward, my human friend? I'm talking yep. to a boffin. Oh. All, right. Yep. All right. All right. So cool. combat's over. Like, we want to search this stuff. Like, I, I want to yeah, know I what wanna... these things are over here. Like, I want to And I want to start looking at the ship and, like, I've got my brow furrowed. Like, this thing is an absolute, I imagine, mess. I think. Uh, yeah, it's a wreck. Um, and anybody noticing, you'll notice that. Uh, this does not appear to be the whole ship. I mean, the front right. the front of this is buried, right? Um, yeah, and I'm assuming we found uh, found the engines last night and camped under them. Yep, those appear to be the engines. Mm. And then we saw this thing over here, right, Brendan? Yep. Whatever that is. Oh, I know what that is. Um, okay. That's a mecha droid. Hey, kids, go check out the... Uh, Whatever's coming, protruding from the sand out there. I'm going to inspect the hold. All right. You want me to take uh, the pants. You want me to take the truck or walk it? Yeah, take the truck and see if you can move. Bring it over here. Okay. So you you jump out then? Yeah, I'll hop out of the truck. All right. so Try not to crash it this time. I don't know why I'm Russian now. I'm using the Russian <laughs> accent. So okay, Brendan, then I'll start driving over here and go check this out. If you want to move. Okay. If you want to move the yeah. truck when you're and ready. I want to kind of. Uh, I think you actually have control on it now. Yeah, I do. Oh, goodness. Look at that beautiful thing. Yep. Yeah. Wah! Wah! Yeah! Look at the truck! And you can even Wah! click on it and give it a rotate. Yeah, that, I was doing that on my screen. Nice. I guess you guys couldn't see it, but... Yep. <laughs> well, as long as the audience... You're right. Saw, we're we good. Can't. Yeah, the audience <laughs> got to see it, though. So I was doing donuts over here. It was nice. awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Donuts sound very good right now. Speaking of donuts, does anybody want some more of the uh, meat that we had left over from last I'm, night? I'm not there, so... I still got that drumstick <laughs> in my backpack. <laughs> so Zoltan says to no one in particular. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan, is there a way that I could, uh, whatever this is, like, I'm gonna, I want to investigate and see if I can either put it on sure. the truck or start dragging it out with the truck? Yeah, um, give me, what, uh, what would you like probably like an me? athletics, yeah, sure. um, and give me just a sec. Give me $20. Uh, there you go, go ahead and roll that. Here. Oof, da. that's the big That oof. thing is real stuck. Um, you're, I mean, it, it, it's a huge tail fin, right, for this ship, um, and between the sand that it's buried in and its own weight, um, you're just not able to get under it in a way that you could, you well, could tie on. this and strap it. And... It gets worse. I, oh, uh, oh, it does get worse. Because it's lagging, yeah, you gotta look yeah. at the dice up top and not the icons at the bottom, it gets yeah, way lag. worse. Yeah, oh lag. my. Yeah. So on mine, the graphic's not even showing up. Yeah, it's not showing it, but it says yeah. challenge despair. I just yeah. see the despair, and nothing cancels the despair, so. You know what? I think Jay just found himself a Sarlacc. <laughs> or he <laughs> broke the rear axle. Why truck. are you trying to kill our party? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I Everything mean, like, you do is designed to kill this party, it seems. <laughs> Did you not see my amazing whirling blades technique? I mean, where I threw the blood of our enemies on the droid and pretty much saved everybody's life. Oh God, I got another oh setback Brennan. die. Brennan's clicking buttons over there. Yep. Mm. So, um, so Jay, uh, if you look at your sheet now, uh, yeah. you can go to the critical injuries tab. Yeah. And you have a critical injury that's going to stay on your sheet until a medical roll is made um, with proper equipment to um, to take care of that. Um, so you're gonna need like like some actual metals. I think you need actual medical supplies on that one to um, yeah. to make that roll. Um, and then until that happens, uh, or sorry, it's just on your next skill check that you're gonna get a setback die as you're All off right. balance. Yeah. Um, but the problem is is that your your ankle is still kind of strained a little bit or whatever. So any future criticals are still gonna be worse until you get rid of it. So you, you remember that abandoned medical uh, facility that you were deathly afraid of taking us into? I've got a lot more good reason to say, come on, break us in, man. I can get you fixed up. Okay. Trust, trust Dr. Zabrak. I know how to fix you. I thought your name was Zoltan. That is exactly what I just said. You, it's my accent. You can't understand. <laughs> You're so racist. So I'll let I won't do anything for now. I'll let the other guys sure. go, and yeah. I'll just kind of like I 
I'm just like sitting in the sand over yeah. there. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm inspecting these things. What are here? What? Are, please tell me they're droidicas that are just ready for to be reprogrammed. If only. Uh, hmm. They are cargo containers that um, you suspect would go inside the ship. Um, that appear to have been jettisoned during the crash or impact or whatever it was that happened here. I see. Um, so they're they're purely cargo containers, and they do appear to be empty. Ooh, dang it. Hmm, well. Well, I, now I, you open up one, and it has foodstuffs in it, but it is foodstuffs that went bad way long ago. He's like, probably going to feed it to us. That, 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 that's it. never stopped Zoltan before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have some ideas, so I'm, I'm I'll run them by you guys a little bit later because we could probably sure. we could, here's I'll I'll tell you my ideas right now. Basically, we take these cargo so, containers, load them in the back of the truck, we seal them so up. So as he starts doing this in the com links, like Nisk mm -hmm. just pulls it out. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm okay. Well, yeah, since you can, yeah. right, well, and that's what I think about Ryan. I think Garrow definitely <laughs> threw his on the ground because he just hurt himself. It was just like. Look, Okay. <laughs> guys here's here's the plan we take some of these rocks look there's debris all over the place right and empty food we fill these cargo containers up first off we load them on the truck when they're empty or mostly empty we fill them up with rocks seal them lock them then bring them back and then we can be like sell them to all these, these this gang and we can be like hey guys we found these mystery cargo containers they could have anything in there. Yours As he's only going through his credit. plan, I ping over to like a private channel between me and Gero. This is why I'm the captain and makes the plans. And we don't listen to Zoltan. We let him talk, but we don't really listen. And I just like, Roger. <laughs> and right as you guys come back in, I'm like, so what do you guys think? <laughs> it's good, good plan, Zoltan. Very good plan. All right. You start putting rocks in boxes. I'm going to look at the Hulk of the ship. No, you weren't listening. I have to wait till they're on the thing before we put the rocks in the boxes. It's no, you heavy. just start filling them with rocks. Uh, I don't know how to pull off a swindle if it oh, perfect. Or walking around the ship and just kind of patrolling. Sure. So what do, what do I find inside, uh, Brendan? Yep. So you've got an airlock here that is very much sealed um, on, sure. on this spot right here. Um, that you're at uh it does appear to still be mostly intact uh though it's obviously worn and weathered uh there's plenty of dirt that's piled up and filled all the cracks and crevices and stuff um uh but yeah are you are you looking to go through that door yeah or i'm looking, looking at i'm looking at kind of walking around finding my easiest point of access and just getting right. a looking at the damage looking at how much this is gonna cost sure. to repair and so here you actually see that this has been sheared um, and that there's there's definitely more of the ship nearby. Um, there, or one would assume, right? Uh, right. That, that there's more ship nearby because this is not all of the ship. And you notice that it's not... Um, while the, the, the front end that you're standing near is buried partially, um, you can tell that it doesn't go down very deep um, because of the way that the sand is kind of piled up here. Right. Um, so you can go in and say, you know, this looks like what is probably a cargo hold, um, that obviously has nothing in it, uh, except sure. for all kinds of stank. I mean, it is gross in here. Um, like filthy green slime and mold that is built in here. Um, who knows what kind of creatures have been living in here. Dogs. Dogs um, have been living in there. What is hear, this sound coming from the cargo hold? You hear from the cargo hold. <laughs> Uh, yep, that's this is the timestamp that when people are sharing this video yeah, to their friends, right. they should link it to this timestamp nope. right here nope. and see. Watch Jay Shalansky have a Melt nervous down. breakdown Just on YouTube. Down. Completely. This is what a man dying looks like. <laughs> Completely melting down. Uh, yeah, this will be the when the Fifth Trooper Network completely quit. Everything just, just shut just, down. Yep. And then the free we'll, podcast alliance wins. Mm -hmm. We're back in six months, guys. Back in six months. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if we can so leave yeah, the house still in six be months. slimy, disgusting, mm -hmm. sure. uh, very, very gross. Um, you're you're actually almost a little afraid to go any further. Uh, there is a, a door back here. Um, okay. That looks like it is probably um, the other end of that airlock, you would assume. Sure. Um, that goes back into the cargo hold. Zoltan, I need you to come pry a door open. Use your sword. Oh, I see you found a bunch of rocks. 
Yes, yes you can <laughs> later you can put them in your cargo containers. I'll need you. I'm gonna kinda that. hobble back in the truck, Brendan, and probably just like drive back here. Yeah. And then uh I'm just gonna start searching these bodies while they're doing that. Cause I'm okay. just like hurt and I'm like, you know, I've had enough of this freaking ship and this stupid truck. i I'm just gonna search bodies. Sure. Not a bad idea. Uh, so each of the thugs that you encounter has a blaster pistol okay. and a set of knuckle dusters. Mm. But they do not appear to have any wealth of any other form on them. All right. Don't go upside down. Let's get some gold stuff there. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to pile those guns and knuckle bat busters up and just kind of put them on the seat of the truck and just, you know, I'll show the guys when they get back. Um, and then I'd like to we like radio over the comms and just like tell Nisk basic. Uh, I'll just be like, "Hey, I I'm not feeling so good. I gotta take a nap and like relax you, for a little bit." So you he, take five, friend. We'll we'll keep a lookout. Yeah, he's gonna try to like get some sleep since he didn't sleep the night before because of the attack and all that stuff. So so that's what I'm gonna try to do, Brent. I'm gonna hop in the front seat and just kind of nap, try sure. to get some sleep. Works for me. Get this. Get these set dice off. Hey, of if me. you're hungry, there's some food in one of these cargo containers. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I don't know him. I don't know about human, uh, you know, digestive systems, but Zabrax, uh, you know, we can't Chef, eat that stuff. All right, so here's over here. here's uh, here's what I'm gonna do. So I, I, you know, he so this door is 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 sealed. Um, I've been walking around the ship a little bit. I kind of examined the outside. Am I able to determine this class of vessel? Uh, mm. That um, sounds like a knowledge check of some point. Right. May, um, where are we? we? We're outer rim, right? We, um, but I don't know if that's an outer rim specific check. Maybe education check? Um, it is probably more outer rim okay. than anything. Okay. So we'll make an outer rim check. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. I have no <laughs> idea. And mm. I, actually, it frightens me well, a little bit. Well, that's... <laughs> if. I'm assuming there's some dice there that shouldn't be, or maybe. Oh this my is goodness! Yeah. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Hang on. Imaginable. <laughs> uh, uh, this hang is on. Let me change the difficult shuttle. <laughs> it's it's actually Voltron, and it's going to assemble and attack you. Okay, go ahead. Roll that again. All right. Um, outer Good rim. Lord. Right, hold on. Oh, no, sorry. sorry that was just. A, uh, you know what it was? I touched the door. My psychometry, you know, t kicked off, and I. I there's I, a deep cut. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I know exactly. This does look familiar to me, as a matter it of does. fact. It does. Um, and and so as you're digging around, you actually find a nameplate uh, and a model serial number. Um, and it reads, uh, Carillion Engineering Corporations, CX-1080. Oh, no. And the I'm name of this ship totally is Googling the Squandered that. Potential. It's appropriate for us. Oh, interesting. Because that shows me like a Mazda hatchback when I Google it. Oh boy. So, all right. So, uh, oh, because they have <laughs> that's what we got a Mazda hatchback. Yes. Mm -hmm. We so did it, guys. CX mm -hmm. All right. So, with my familiar, like, I'm like, yes, I, I spent time on Corellia. My master was from there. Your um, blade is from there. It is. That's actually where I picked it up. Yeah. Um, See? So what I'd like to do with the uh, the advantage there mm -hmm. is to give me a bonus. Like, oh, you know what? I know these type of ships, these Corellian ships. There's a trick to getting the doors open. You have to, uh, you know, you have to you have to do a little something, a little something special. Uh, and so I'm gonna try to um, now. Does does it look like it's like rusted? Like I'm gonna have to use force, or does it look like maybe a mechanics check might be able to uh, uh, get this thing open? I'll leave that to you. What do you? What kind of be dependent on your on your uh it's probably you're gonna have to try mechanics okay um, and then depending on your role we'll determine whether it requires a brute force or not that sounds good yeah if i failed but all right all right so let's see this, Me buddy. mechanics no mechanics isn't too bad i'm gonna spend a, all right i'm gonna I, this time i'm gonna spend a light side point mm -hmm. uh let's do this properly so use light side and i'm gonna upgrade okay um and uh bum, bum, bum. all right so since, since i have the two advantage i'm going to gain a boost die i don't think i can do that twice right i can't get two boost die for two advantage 
for trying uh, to... No, you can only spend one. Yeah, all right. So I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, and we'll do that for mechanics. Uh, let's see. All right, I've got, I've added my upgrade. I've added my blue die. And I'm going to try this mechanics. Hopefully it comes out good. Um, M, M, M. Mechanics starts with an M. Oh, man. All right. Uh, hang on. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, hang on. No, hanging on. No, that difficulty is great. Let's oh. go with that. No, darn. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're fine. That's fine. All right, so I am not able to open it, but there's some advantage there. So I learned a little something. You on, grease uh, a couple of hinges, but you're still gonna have to force this open. Yeah. Um. Who is uh? Before you who's do at the that, highest friend, brawn, because can I can give you a boost uh, die with this. Can I take a try? Yeah. Yeah. You should get a boost die for that because I, even though I failed, I we learned something new from it. Yep. So you can do that. I don't have lock picking tools on me, but can okay. I use my skull duggery and take some setback? Yeah, sure. For not uh, having the appropriate tools. Yeah. Uh, try to finesse like this thing like open. Two. Uh, okay. I'm going to use my neck. I got a little bit of Nexu bone still stuck in my teeth here from uh, last night. And then I get a boost uh, die from, uh, from Crab's advantage. Yeah, yeah go ahead and uh, I'll actually give you two boost die. And I've got them on my sheet, so don't put them on yours. Um, okay, so I have you have two, the set. Yeah, I have two boost, two setback, and I've got difficulty four for you. Excellent. Uh, this thing has been weathered. It's been it's been dug in for a really long time, um, so you're just having a hard time with it. Oh, solid! Excellent. Those boost the die things, were actually pretty uh, pretty on point. Yeah, they were pretty yep. clutch. They were better than my dice. Um, the that things actually, we learn yeah. on on Batawai friend, and I as I kind of say that, I look at them and spin the lock over. Yeah, um, um, and you managed like, to you in the process. Uh, it does restore power here. Um, you guys, uh, by the way, uh, go ahead and make uh, some resilience rolls while you're here. Neat. <laughs> uh, just uh, just those two. Obviously, uh, Garo is sleeping, so you're just fine. Tell me when I die. Go ahead and roll. Yep. Oh, I got two. Uh, so, Nisk, uh, you are <clears throat> overcome as a new waft of air <laughs> and stench and stagnant just fills your nostrils. And the filth is just overwhelming you. Um, Zoltan, mm. uh, you, you're, you're a Zabrak. You're a tough guy. Yeah, it actually reminds me of home a little bit. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm with this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the door is open. It's like so... bad next to me. <laughs> yep. Nisk, how are you dealing with this? As I kind of give my silly quip about learning things in the streets of Bothwai and spin it open, you just see my faith kind of sour. I do a, a good old garro as I nearly throw up in the floorboard. Take a step back. I'm like, Zolta after you, friend. <laughs> yeah. As I take a minute to like hands on knees and just like catch my breath and do my best to keep <laughs> from vomiting. Dry heaving. Totally. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so in there, you notice there's obviously some control panels um, and, and some consoles. Um, but you also notice that there is actually a full what what appears to be it is filthy, it is disgusting, but a fully intact spacesuit um, that would allow you to actually travel outside of a ship while uh, outside atmosphere. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> sure. We're gonna see how well it fits. I'm gonna put on the spacesuit. Okay. It, Rocket it, man! It's gonna take you a, a couple of minutes to uh, to get on, oh but you manage. God, no. uh, Nisk, what are you doing while he? Um, Garo's in the back of the truck sleeping. He's getting yep. dressed. Um, yep. I'm gonna wait a minute for it to air out, and then go okay. in and see if I uh, if I any do do the ship's bombs um happen to be intact in this part of the uh, the vessel. Can I use uh, some kind of instrument? So maybe yeah, you could try some computers. I got to it on, locate guys. the rest of the ship. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah like my spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. It looks like one of those old rebel style ones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this Perfect. thing on? I, I can't very, hear anything in this. Be thing. very we careful with that. Yep. Yeah. We oh can. man. Yep. Uh, you want me to roll? You want me to roll computers? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Not so Gosh, much. You Not so are. Much. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Uh, you. <laughs> you do discover <laughs> that it is nearby, um, sure. but you're not exactly sure where. It is okay. quite close, though. 
Um, the, it, it appears that the Mayday distress signal uh, indicates that um, all relative pieces of the ship did land very close by. Cool. Awesome. Just wanted you guys to know my character is like loving to space suit. <laughs> like, great. Like, I'm going to like, recover two strain. Perfect. <laughs> You're just so excited. I'm, oh, I don't have any strain. No, I do have some. I do. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, like, I, I don't think I ever want to take it off. I'm like, yeah. I think, I think this is, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give this suit a name. Oh, man. Perfect. We'll call so, it Finders uh, Keepers. All right. Um, so I, I think we have to fan out and find the rest of the ship. Maybe take the truck for a spin, try to find not more goons. What did the uh, what did the goons come in on? Did they come in on foot? Were they dropped off? Is there signs that some kind of repulsor oh, craft displaced some stuff? Are there swoop bikes laying around? You actually do not see any indication of how they got here. Interesting. Yep, and they had no camping supplies. Oh, they were brought in by some type of aerial platform. And that means they will be back. So, oh, you know what we might want to do? We might want to hide those bodies in the boxes that we can load in the back of the truck. And we can deliver them back to the swoop gang and be like, hey, guys, I got some boxes for you. You can open them up after we leave. And then they can be like, oh, those rascals, they put our own people's dead bodies how in these many bodies. systems <laughs> do you have bounties on your head sultan exactly <laughs> look exactly how they'll think i'm sure of it yeah look I'm all sure i'm it. saying is i've been working medical for a long time i've seen a lot of crazy stuff <laughs> you know you don't when you work the er at maz Kanata's castle like you yeah. see weird stuff and just once on my first adventure in like eight years I want to do something wild and crazy and have my own story to tell. Is it that hard for you guys to just want to cut up some body parts and stuff them into containers? I mean, if if the if the group says no, then I understand. I mean, they're already dead, is, so the force is, is okay. Is no harm it. a thing in Star Wars? <laughs> is they're is they're already doctor? dead. It's for science. <laughs> it's for science. What oh, you man. choose to do on your watch, Zoltan, is completely up to you. I mean, it is for science. It is a very good experiment for the, for the Zebrak homeworld. So, Brendan, how, how long have I yeah. been out, do you think, roughly? Uh, maybe an hour or two. You, you've had, you've yeah. had a little bit of a short rest going right. on. Do yeah. you think I got well, enough been... to, get the stra- to get that to remove that setback die? Yeah, we could even do a short rest if you guys are gonna like set camp quickly. I mean, like you don't have to yeah. do like a full overnight, but you could you could do a short little rest that wouldn't you know yeah wouldn't okay. put a dent in your day. Um, um well, uh, also I'd like to can I one of those blaster pistols? Are they light blaster pistols or regular blaster pistols? They're regular blaster pistols. Then can I take one and can you give me the specs yeah. on that, please? Of course. Um, you have your sheet ready and on the three to off. Yep. Okay. Uh, blaster forearms. pistol. Yep. Is a ranged light. Um, the damage value is six. Your crit value is three. Its range is medium. Encumbrance rating of one. Yep. Hard points, which is HP of three, and that's how much you can customize it. Okay. Its price is four hundred, and its rarity is four, and it has a stun setting as one of its special features. Perfect. And then uh, the 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 knuckle dusters. Knuckle dusters are uh, a wait, melee wait, weapon. Wait, are you saying buster or duster? Duster, like the coat. Okay. Um, Dogs. And, yep. Go it ahead. uses, which is funny because they're through like two walls right now. But that's how good our microphones are. That's Perfect. quality recording equipment right there, yeah, viewers. So Always happy. the optimist. I'm like, the fact that you can hear them is just a testament to modern ingenuity. It is. <laughs> um, so they use the brawl skill. Yep. They are damage plus one. So take your brawn rating and just add plus one to that number and put that in the box. Uh, hold on one second. I think it's yep. Okay. And then crit rating of four. Range is engaged. Yep. Encumbrance of one. Yep. Zero hard points. Okay. Price is 25. Rarity is zero. Mm-hmm. And they have the special quality of disorient three. 
have to be engaged to use them. So basically, if you yeah. want to get in a fight, you have to get down on one knee. On one right. knee. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then pop them right in the business. If they say no. But if yeah. they say yes, well then, congratulations. So let me ask you this. Are these... Uh, can I? Are they like brass knuckles, almost kind of a thing? Yeah, yeah that's exactly what. Okay, they are. so I could have them on one hand, and I could use them, and also use like my force pike or a gun or something, right? Or they do I could? But usually, usually a, a knuckle like that oh, is gonna okay. have a reinforcement in the palm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Gripping something really yeah, hard. You're right. So, so okay, I'll put those I mean, in my you... pocket. I'll I'll grab a blaster pistol. And, yeah. uh, you could there'd probably just be some setback going on okay yeah exactly we right. could find like a crazy mad scientist have them grafted onto your feet and you could learn Aren't to punch you are a crazy feet. mad scientist though i mean i could probably try and do it um, i'm sure there'd be medicine in there somewhere but that's not really my forte so i'll radio these two maniacs and i'll be like all right i'm up what do you guys want to do? Where are we had the other one? I would say is that you guys do have a group sheet that I do believe is linked between your your. Uh, I I believe it's linked between your sheets, but I'm not entirely sure. I see. Um, but if you go to the the group sheet, there should be some. Um, I think there's like an equipment page, shared resources. I yep. think you just click to it because I'm on I'm on one. Um, anyway, so you can put that in there, and you could put the group resources or possessions. You could update that with the blasters and any okay. credits that you guys want to share, things okay. like that, and it'll it'll update everybody there. It's cool. good to know. Yeah, That's so cool. I I radio these guys, and I'm like, okay, all right, all right, I'm up, I'm up. What are we doing? Well, you've so, got to see my new suit. While while while. Uh, By the way, Zoltan... it is it is like 1960s bulky if you played knights of the old republic yeah you're not going to be in combat in this thing this really? is going to be making yeah. slow repairs with welding um, um oh um, so it's like one of those underwater suits like the big fishbowl yes. ones perfect yeah no, I'm, I'm huge i'm i'm still gonna wear it i'm i'm really we know. happy with oh, it we know uh, yep. yep all right so uh, um we're gonna yeah well, we're gonna let's get in the truck in. And mm -hmm. I want to spend like my little short rest period. Can I walk around the ship, do a couple laps and try to figure out with the wreckage that we've seen, try yeah. to figure out about how many pieces this thing has fallen into. Sure. Uh, you're convinced that it's just the front section you're looking for. Okay. Since we do know what type, what model it was, it's uh, what a month, the CRX nine. Can, uh, yes. can I roll maybe survival and see if I could figure out where, if I can yeah. see anything on the horizon or try to figure yeah, out where the rest of the ship is. All right. So I will, are you okay? Are you ready? Uh, yeah, let's, do let's double check the dice pool. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. Nice. Um, yeah. So you well are pretty certain that um, based on the overall track pattern of what you've seen here, um, it's probably safe to assume that uh, if you were to go to the northeast, you would yeah. probably be able to locate what you're looking for. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, so I, I'll radio in and be like, I think I might know where the rest of the ship is, guys. It's It looks like it might be the northeast. You want to hop in the truck and we'll head up that way? Let's go take a look. Boom, 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 boom. What's the threat in this? Anything, Brendan? The what? There was a um. Just take a strain. Uh, I'm jumping. Wait. Oh, it's survival. Um, reduce some of your food rations by one or something. I don't have okay. any. I've got a sure. couple of um. I will give you a pieces. food ration. I don't need any guys. I can hunt for my own food. I've told you this how many times? This is my planet. I know what's going on here. You guys keep Bye, up. Friends. I am Bye. not eating any food that either of you offer me again. I don't You've blame you for thinking about a lot of the time. green bug swarms. You're pretty happy about that. Yeah. All right. Jeez. So, all right. Well, I'll start driving the truck. Yeah. Everybody okay. cool? All right. Yep. Very good. Let us go. I'm watching his, his handle on the yoke very suspiciously, yeah. but he did all right earlier. Wait, yeah, is we sure he should be driving again? I do not understand. He's already proven. Oh my goodness, what have we found here? Looks like a giant right, ship. So I'll move the truck like here ish? Uh, yes, but I'm going to stop you. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make vigilance checks, everyone. Oh no. Mm, okay. I'm... Everybody, somebody farted, and we're going to have to smell it. Oh, sorry. 
Hang on, new roles. Everybody, new roles. Maybe. Ah, I pushed the button, Me too. but the button does not work today. Uh -oh. Make a computer it'll, it'll check. Load. Give it a give it a second. It'll load. Uh, uh, the tension is real. So how's y'all's day going? Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 the truck is out of control. There we go. There's... This is why you cannot drive. You're trying to show off too much. <laughs> are we sure they're gonna? Do we need a? There, there, right, there they are. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Wait. There's there's one. Yeah. I got. I, I, got I know Garros as soon as I Nisk. push it. As, as soon as I push it again, it's gonna come up with two of them. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna try it again. There, there you go. it goes. So you didn't I hit it the first. Time. Oh my goodness. So, Super so, video. You guys um are noticing um. The, the ones just with advantage notice that there are definitely heavy tracks and footprints um, and what appear to be um, trenches of some sort of larger creature dragging things towards the ship. Uh, and then Zoltan, you managed to notice it. Um, I'm going to put you, yeah, that, that's, I'm going to put you just one back, one square back. Uh, yeah. Once basically you get just close enough, you crest the hill. Um, and then come down, you notice, uh, as you're able to actually see into the forward of the ship, um, this door that is at the front here is open. It's actually been, like, ripped open. This whole section is torn here. Um, and on that, you notice that there is, in fact, uh, standing probably nine, ten feet tall, with ears as big as its head oh, no. and a massive maw, a it roars back. at you. There's uh, what, at the very least, uh, Garo notices immediately to be the fabled Gundarks that rumored live on this planet. Uh, and it appears to have made a nest and a home in the front of this ship. And with that, gentlemen, we're going to call this episode closed. Now. No. Okay. The cliffhangers are real two in a row. So, so oh. Jay is upset, but Garrow is very excited about this because he <laughs> knew these things were real. Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. Good thing I've got some Nexu steaks. Yep. Uh, Those may be in more handy with this thing than uh, they might, than a bunch might of be useful. So they when might. we uh, when we all sign off here, why don't you remind us where we can find you all? So Brendan, you go first. Where can yep. where else can we find you? So uh, primary brand is Critical X. You can find us on all podcast source, Apple, uh, you know, all the, all the podcast uh, free downloads and stuff there. Uh, we upload about every quarter, usually when we have something to say and we can actually coordinate everybody to get together. Uh, we spend most of our content uh, talking about what we're drinking and what we're doing lately. And then we spend about a third of that content talking about our favorite Legion stuff. Uh, but we do have Bushbacks on there who talks about um, a lot of the in-depth math things. And we've got Nathan there who is a huge lore nerd and can tell you everything about blaster rifles and why Didn't Darth Vader is so angsty. Did you guys do a so show angsty. with 45 minutes talking about Imperial blaster rifles yeah. that I, like fell asleep to? It depends, though. Yeah. I mean, like, it, for some people, that's what they like. And so that's why we put that out there. No, nobody um, likes that. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan uh, likes that. <laughs> And then, of course, I get to let my hair down a little bit and not be quite so head judgy on there sometimes and, and kind of cut loose a little, too. So we have fun with it. Um, and then, obviously, uh, down the road, that's uh, too much. You can probably, yeah, you can find me at whatever whatever <laughs> event is the biggest event. I'll that's, be there. That's too much. All right. All right. Oh, God. All right, Ryan, you're up. Where can where else can we find you? <laughs> Stabcast. I don't have a primary brand. I have one brand. So it's Stabcast. Just so everybody knows, uh, b both... Brendan and Ryan and myself, we mm -hmm. all have Legion podcasts. So if you're new yes. to yeah. our community whoa, or you, you're just coming into this, we all talk about I have about a Legion, Legion podcast. He has also. a lot of Legion podcasts also. They just started. I don't consider started. them a Legion podcast. Oh, I started yet. it like <laughs> before coronavirus happened. So it's like that's the whole It was like forever thing. ago. <laughs> all right. If we're going to take that line, then Jay has some Legion podcasts that I don't consider canon. <laughs> that's fine. It hasn't been around long enough. <laughs> so Ryan has one of the oldest. Uh, and just yeah. like your grandfather, they mm -hmm. don't know what they're talking about. No idea. <laughs> 
no idea what we're talking about, but you can find us at SW Stabcast everywhere you look. Yep. And uh, Tim, who are you? Where can we find you, buddy? So uh, I have recently been acquired by the fifth trooper. I'm now the fifth <laughs> Krabok. No, no, you can find me at YouTube. If you look for Krabok, I cover uh, Legion, Armada, X-Wing, lots of board games, basically lots of Star Wars stuff, uh, but primarily X-Wing, Legion, and Armada. And then we have the uh, Double Critical podcast, which are on Apple and Podbean and also on Krabok.com. And the Double Critical is just kind of theorizing stuff. Uh, so when brand new stuff gets announced, everybody else is talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about stuff that <laughs> I've just made up in my mind. Perfect. That's those things that might be cool. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Perfect. I'm and then, the old grandfather making no sense. He's the old man standing on his yeah. porch yelling at the birds that yeah. don't exist. Old man yells at Cloud. He says, ah. <laughs> <laughs> And I had an onion hanging from my belt, which was the style at the time. Wouldn't it be fun if there was pirates in Legion? Hondo, oh my! You want to come on the next? You want to? That's what it is. Yeah, Jay wants I wanna, to be. I, I want to come on the Hondo episode. I actually have ideas, and they okay. keep getting cut out of the Stabcast episodes. Oh so when you God. talk about Hondo, I'll come on. <laughs> okay, sure, we'll do it. We'll, we'll make sure. But I think that right. that wraps us up, right, Brendan? I do. I have one last thing, and and that is for Tim here to roll one d ten oh, minus yeah. five. Okay. Where can we find you, Jay? It is such a mystery to all of us here. Yeah, nowhere. Is soon, that, soon is that right? Hey, whoever's wife really liked that. Did you hear her laugh uh, after my minus joke? Minus five, so your morality is going to go down four because oh. you went on a mur murderous rampage today. Um, yeah. And also, your friends <laughs> participated in uh, vehicular manslaughter, or at least tried to. <laughs> Uh, you just and you were an vehicular miss. Hey, mis I'd like to say that I didn't kill anyone with that truck. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone ever this turn, so hey. But uh, all right, is that it, Brandon? We good? We're, it's great. We're Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you next time. Bye, right. everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.